Okay, I am gonna give this a few shots here. One thing I thought of was uh, I wanted to switch something. What the heck was it now? Um. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, since I'm not going to be using smoke bombs or uh, echo screens or sleeping bags, I figured I would uh, move the things I might use higher up here and then save. Um, oops. Just leave it that way. Um, I guess that'll be fine. Oh, wait, no. Those elixirs might actually. Well, no, not really. I was thinking one of those elixirs, maybe, uh. <coughs> excuse me. Might be useful for. Setzer, possibly, but then I remember he doesn't really ever use magic except for when he's casting haste. So, after, um, I lost my train of thought, and it's been a long time since I really looked at who has what for espers, except for, Well, I guess I do have Kieran, I think, on Sabin, maybe? I guess I don't know who has that. I'm not sure what battle that would be most useful in. Um, I guess probably... I mean, if you get to the fourth tier, why not use it there, right? If I have it on, I gotta check that. But that might not be a bad idea. So that it would save me potentially a, a, a turn or a round, even maybe even um, of the dried meat having Regan. Um, so I guess that's something I could think about for the fourth year. I don't remember if anybody has. Usually Locke has Kieran, but Locke isn't from the party, so. Um, and some of the stuff that they were supposed to learn was probably from stuff that they had on. They were just going to learn along the way. And it never was switched over again, possibly. I don't remember. I haven't looked really super closely through a lot of the stuff in this thing for a few years. Maybe we'll be fortunate and get uh, past 10 hits. That's always the goal here. I mean, getting to 10 hits really shouldn't be that hard. Um, I don't remember that random uh, retort to kill him happening before, but it's been happening now, so... Um, 
not counting that move. I mean, that, that that's the only move, really, honestly. That's the only move that should really... Uh, have any real chance to end your... Uh, your trek towards 10 hits. Because that's kind of what it is. I mean, that you just gotta get to 10 hits. And then find out what happens. Then you got a shot. But if we can do this as good as we can do this, or if things will go our way here, that would be really nice. Alright, well, not perfect, but not bad. Alright, let's see. Oh, I should mention, I switched controllers again. I'm using the controller that I don't usually use for this, but I figured because I was having issues with my timing, um, it wouldn't hurt anything to just try this. Because I didn't give this controller a fair shake earlier. So we'll see. It's definitely more rigid, like, all because I just cleaned it. <sighs> yeah, that double tap can be really tough. Well, so long as we don't get boned here, we should get this. Okay, all right, that's the expectation there. I'm not sure why there was a deviant from that expectation with those, uh, you know, retorts at the end. I'm not really sure what was going on there. I'm still kind of confused about it. I even went and did some research on that here, and I couldn't find anything about a retort like that from any of the three monsters, so I don't know what's going on there, man. I'm confused about it. I didn't dig very deep though. I, I didn't spend much time looking. I'll be honest. Alright, let's see here. That's not uncommon to have the party wiped out immediately. I mean, when I say the party wiped out, Setzer and Sabin, the two guys that are highly susceptible to stuff. Um, it's not uncommon for them to open up with something that will do that. It's not a big deal. Um, Right now, there's only one move that would that I can think of right now that would kill. This might be it right here. Yeah, 120. So um, that move will kill Celis and bring Edgar down to three hit points. And that is our good friend Machinery there that we're trying to doom right now. Uh and we need to, because he's susceptible to Doom, so that's the easiest way to kill him, if it hits. There we go. So now, um, we're not doing too bad. Oh, wrong guy. Now we're in a pretty good spot. So we have even the playing field. They can't hit us. I mean, they could hit us, but they can't. Um, there's not a whole lot of immediate danger right now. I don't think that there's a move that they can do to kill both of them right now. Um, maybe there is, and I'm misremembering, but I don't think that there is. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get haste on Celis and Edgar, if I can. 
That would be nice. And we should be able to accommodate that. Um, let's do this. And let's do this. shot here quick so we're pretty much at 10 hits now uh, that's pretty much it now they could do something to mess us up and we have to start all over with the healing process and all that fun stuff but I think what's machinery well there's flare star but it's only gonna do half the damage well to the good guys or the strong guys I shouldn't say the good guys but the people that have force stuff Force armor, force shield combination is pretty awesome. Alright. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to haste save in here. I mean, it's probably not going to do me any good. But, um, let me think here. What am I doing now? Um, yeah, that's where she wants to be. Okay, that's fine. And you're going to want to be there. And you're gonna want to be there, and you are gonna vanish him. Oh, I should have waited and cast taste on. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, I don't have it run that way. It would take an extra turn to do that if we were doing like a, if we were going on the shortest turns possible type run attempt for that, um, or the shortest rounds you've done before, like a PB for that type of thing. Um, I lost my train of thought now. Alright, so that's fine. We're needing that, and you're good, and that, and... Wait, we need to still give him... Dried meat, der... See if we can do it. <sighs> oh, dude, and I missed it. It wasn't the third round, but I did miss it there. If we make it past 10 hits, we're there. Ah. Well, that's the game. okay with that. I know going into it that that's the most probable outcome. I'm actually kind of surprised that I've gotten up to the third tier twice already, honestly. Considering how many times I went up against 10 hits yet, not that many. I've been getting kind of ripped off in that first tier earlier pretty heavily on that. 
and I I briefly looked some stuff up to see if I was forgetting something. I didn't dig very deep. I just, you know, did a quick once over. Uh, I don't even think I looked at more than one website. And I didn't see anything specific that I couldn't notice that would, uh, that would cause that. That retort to... I guess Setzer, because I'm, I'm guessing it's something about uh, attacking the person who landed the fatal blow or something like that. I mean, Quake is just like a... There's a percentage that they'll do Quake, or that it's it's the main... I don't remember his name. The middle target, the bigger target. Um, not, not one of the arms, but like the, the torso and head. Um, that enemy, when you kill it, uh, has a role that might result in Quake. Um, and that's not a big deal. I mean, I, that's, that's, that's not, th I mean, we're prepared for that. So, that's not a thing that is really of any concern. But, whatever this other retort is that I don't remember being there, that's been knocking me out a few times, um... That's a different one. I don't. I don't remember that. I think my best overall time on this thing is like 13 minutes or something, something like that. But I think if I didn't get, I kind of got hung up at Kafka. It was kind of a rip-off deal the way it went down, but it did. He almost doubled the time of the battle. Like... Like, I don't remember exactly what the time was when I got there, but... I don't know, maybe... I don't know, I don't, I don't even want to say a number, because I, I don't know for sure, and I don't want to... Just randomly guess, there's no point in that. I just don't remember. But it was a good number, it was a, the time was really good. It was the best I've done, and... Um... I think I got, well, okay, so I got through 10 hits, um, I think Setzer had only been knocked out one time in the second round. And nobody else had to have a Phoenix down on them. So it was like three rounds or something, and then, uh, so the timing was really, really good on tier two um the timing was perfect i think well maybe not maybe not perfect but uh about as good as to be expected um for tier one i mean the only time that i would have lost time i guess would have probably what am i doing here float uh would have been when i uh like, if I didn't hit every reel perfect on the first turn, that would have been, like, the spot probably where I could have done better, but the first round was really... I think it was two rounds and it was done. And then the, the second tier was... I don't know, I don't remember the count, but I think Seth's only really got knocked out once, and I, that, that could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure how that's, that is how that one went. Dang it, wrong button. Okay, um, and then... Well, since we're waiting here, we may as well haste Edgar now. I usually don't do that, but we're waiting, so why not? And you... And, uh... Yeah, let's just do this. And... Okay, that's fine. He can has cast haste three times, is that right? Why is Edgar not floating? That's a new one for me. Can he resist float? If he could, why would he? Oh, I must have killed it already. Okay, good. Alright.
Well, I don't like that he's not floating. Okay, I don't understand, but whatever. I must have missed something. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but whatever. Way to go save and block and stuff. Alright, let's see if we can do it. is to be expected. I don't know what it is, why that was happening sometimes, or if it's just like a low percentage thing that just got caught in a loop. That's totally possible. Alright, so Esper for Salus immediately. And then I guess we can haste. Why not just throw haste on him? I think the other two are already hasted. Ah, that's too bad. And we'll do a tincture on you. Hopefully I get lucky at his first time. Probably not gonna happen. And there we go. That was kind of what I was thinking. All right, sweet. Okay. All right. Well, maybe uh, if we get lucky here in like two or three rounds, we can make our shot at uh, at ten hits. give you a tincture again because you've just been eating magic. And let's give you Phoenix down. And somebody's gotta be okay, Salas can go. And there we go. And you're in line. You're in line. You're in line. And let's try it. Doesn't ruin us, we'll be at tier three.
Oh, number nine, man. Number nine. Come on. Number nine. Come on, bro. Number nine. That's pretty tough. Number nine. <sighs> Number nine. It's tough to get past 10 hits. And so long as that, uh, so long as the final move from tier one isn't a retort that kills somebody, um, there shouldn't be any problems with that. That I don't know. That's the thing that's been kind of bugging me. Like I don't know where that's coming from, and I got. I can only think that it was something that I totally knew about, but that I, I just reset if it happened, and it was a low percentage thing, so I didn't really concern myself too much about it because I don't even remember it. So I don't know what it is. I, I'm sure one of the dudes uh, has a like one out of three chance at best or you know one out of 20 chance at worst to roll uh, that attack when they die that would be my guess if I had to guess is what what's going on there but I kind of think it was two different attacks like I feel like it wasn't the same attack every time so that muddies the water a lot and I'm really confused about it because something like that should be I don't know that, that you would think that that would be something I would remember but whatever you know I don't know why they don't give us a save point after this cutscene like why not I mean, I'm sure they're expecting the people that are here to be, like, level, I don't know, like, 60-plus. And so, you know, they're probably going to win <laughs> when they get here. Uh, I mean, I'm saying, like, when they first made the game, you know, what was the, you know, what would be the expected average level for your leading party? I don't know, I can't tell you what the my party levels were the first time that I beat this game, but I would be uh, willing to... I mean, I would have had a lot of stuff. I wouldn't have had everything, because I wouldn't have known, you know, like, first time you play you them through a game, it's not like you're going to find everything. Um, that's just not realistic. But... Or a game of, you know, this size to figure everything out on your first try is not realistic. But, I would have been, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say, it's been so long I wouldn't be able to say, but I would have had Ultima. So, um, and I would have maybe had what is it, the Genji Glove Gauntlet combo or something? I don't remember what it is, but you can equip... You can attack like eight times or something. I'd have to play around with my relics to try and remember what that is. It's been so long, but... It, Genji Glove something. Offering. Genji Glove Offering. Um, and it's because I think the Offering lets you attack four times, if I remember right. But since you have a Genji Glove, you get to go eight times. And, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I may or may not have had the first time I played it. I guess I can't say for sure if I would have had Genji Love Gauntlet. But I would almost certainly have Ultima. I don't remember Ultima being very hard to find. If I remember right, but who knows. Honestly, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't remember how you learn Ultima. I think you can learn Ultima from... What am I doing here? Uh... 
a shield. And I think you can learn it from... Oh, you learn it from what Esper? There is an Esper that you learn it from, isn't there? Uh, what would that be? Bahamut, maybe? Maybe not. I don't remember. Um, man, it's been so long since I got that spell. I couldn't even tell you where to get it anymore. I think the Paladin Shield, you can learn it. And then there's got to be an S for it. So Odin was for speed. I remember that. Um, I couldn't tell you who gave you Ultima though. Maybe a Bahamut. How do you get Bahamut? I don't remember how to get Bahamut in this game. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't feel right. I don't like doing that uh, slow spin on the first reel. It just... I don't like it. I don't mind it on the second two. But on the first one, and even the second one, I don't. I rather, I would rather there be a. There we go. Like we're trying to do that. Like when that was really, that was really maybe even past the perfect line spot, but awfully close to the perfect line. Like that one there. That was like pretty much perfect spot for bar. You like. right around half way up the diamond um, that would be about perfect it would be tough to miss the bar a lot tougher to miss the bar at that spot because you get the whole rest of the diamond to select if you're if you're below a certain spot on the diamond you can still select a diamond but once you're past a certain spot on the diamond, you're not going to get. You're almost certainly not going to get the diamond. It's going to be almost impossible at that point. All right, first round of this has gone perfect so far. Let's see how long it can continue. Probably not very long. Oh, that's gonna probably take one of us down. Yeah. We were ready. We were pretty much ready to go. We lost one. So this is at least one extra round here that we have to go. Oh, and I didn't banish him yet, so it's probably a good thing that happened. Alright, whatever. So we're off schedule now. That's fine. We're almost at 10 hits. So you see how quickly we got to 10 hits there? Like, if everything is on schedule... Like, I think I made it through the first tier pretty much on schedule. Not perfect, but we were... We were pretty good there, if I remember right, on the first tier. And then we were on schedule for the first, through the first two rounds, I think, and we were ready to go. Uh, and then Saban got a haymaker, and then then Setzer got knocked out, and all that fun stuff. But we should have Edgar and Celis hasted here. Um, ah, garbage. I don't like those odds when they keep on beating up on him like that. It's like, uh, man, what's going to happen when 10 hits rolls around, you know? It's just like, eh. Alright, well, let's see if we can do it. Oh, 
Oh, that was way too fast. That's like crazy. And then I missed. Maybe that's the one you want to miss. Maybe that's the one you don't want to go after. The one right after the seven. I thought that was the one that is ideal. I thought that was the perfect one, but I missed. And I thought I didn't miss. So maybe that one doesn't like, maybe that bar does not like to be selected. I don't know. But when I was missing on that, uh, on bar, Airship was the airship was what was airship was um what am I doing here? Airship was uh what I was landing on, which is the oh come on, dude. Airship was what I was landing on instead of bar. So if that's the case, and that happened again, and that was happening pretty consistently, when I would sh when I would overshoot, it would be onto airship. So I just got to remember, you don't want the bar after the seven, and you'd pretty much have to miss at least one, if not two bars, to get to that bar. All right, let's see if we can't uh, get this off now. You know, I, I'm not even sure. I suppose a Mega Elixir, maybe? I don't know. Is there an item in this game that would... You know, it wouldn't make a difference anyway, now that I think about it. You know, if we were to go and use Regan on Setzer, as soon as he got knocked out one time, he'd lose it. So, we don't have Regan. We have an Esper that does Regan once. So, that wouldn't work. I mean, it's, I mean, it, theoretically, uh, I guess you could uh, get a benefit from it enough that could... Uh, you could get a benefit of it uh, from it that would be good enough to... Um, to conceivably help you win the battle. I mean, that could happen. You know, if all the stars aligned and it just worked out, then sure, I mean, it could happen. Uh... All right, now, um, yeah, okay, yes, let's just do that. <sighs> dude, give me a break, dude. All right. Alright, and you're in line. You're in line. You're in line, and let's try it. Maybe we can get it. my bad. Uh, that 
a little bit long. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, so this is the one we want. I think when I get this one, like when I try to get this one, the one right after the seven, right? So as soon as you lock the second seven, the first diamond that shows up, I think that's the one you want. Now, if I go too fast here, I could get the diamond, but I should be able to get the bar. I mean, I have to be really too fast. Well, if we get past 10 hits, we're in the third tier. Well, a way to at least get rid of it right away. If you're gonna do it, do it there. Don't do it at number nine or 10. Give me a break with that number nine. Freaking number nine, dude. Number nine. Hey, at least I'm not getting ripped off at the end of tier one like I had been getting. Like, this is more in line with what I remember the grind for this being like. Um, and honestly, it it's taken a lot longer than I remember. A lot more a lot more attempts. I mean it's tough to get past ten hits. That's the problem. But I've been past ten hits twice. So that's you know, I should I should have beat this thing already. I mean I, I feel like you shouldn't die anywhere but ten hits. And apparently, uh, with the retort from tier one, you can die too, which is garbage, but whatever. I don't know where that's coming from. I haven't solved that problem other than to make a guess, which is probably pretty close to right. It's cool when you get to uh, you're on schedule through um, through getting save and vanished in the second tier, and you're just lining up. Uh, if you're at that spot and you're on schedule and nothing's gone sideways yet, that's pretty kick-ass. It doesn't happen very often. It's pretty rare. I would say that's far more rare than even running into uh, or getting past 10 hits. I mean, getting past 10 hits, I don't know what the odds are. I don't know if it's as bad as Dragoon Boots or not. And just like Dragoon Boots, you know, you can you can get good fortune and get it without too much difficulty sometimes. Other times, it can be very elusive. Um... I feel like maybe watching the cutscene has an added benefit to it. Because as far as the game knows, I haven't been here yet, you know? I haven't actually... Because it's just going off my hard save. There's no... I don't know. I feel it's probably a little bit more true to the nature of the game. I mean, if you use a save state at the character select screen, um, it's not as though the battle is the same. It's just like this, where, you know, they they roll and whatever they roll is what they what they do. So it, it's no different. It's not like it's like a preordained uh, set of attacks that the enemy repeats. It's not like that at all. There are some times where a save state will create a situation like that where it's almost like you know something has been set in stone, and if you uh, make a save during that time, like a, a, a save that the game didn't intend to be made ever, it can get stuck. It's, the best example of that is the Veld. So 
so we're not on schedule anymore she missed so uh, this round can't be um, it can't be our our attempt so it's at least three rounds to get minimum but now it's four rounds to get out of here and I say around because I mean, it is a round. It doesn't matter if one person goes that round or if all of them go that round. It's still a round. And I guess that's one thing I should be doing too. If it goes more than one round, or if we we if we exceed our allotted round, then Setzer needs to be casting haste on Edgar as well. One disadvantage to putting haste on Edgar is that he will sometimes go there instead of Sabin. Normally Sabin would be in line there. And then Edgar and then Setzer. Oh man, what am I doing, Sean? I pressed instead of press the pause button, I wasn't thinking. I just pressed the A button, and I got a freaking airship out of it. Oh my word. If we were in like level 60, that airship would have done a lot of good damage, man. Now I gotta double check to make sure we can even cast Muddle, yeah, see, that's the thing. The reload is supposed to be, he uses that on himself in the first round of the second tier, because he's got nothing better to do at that point. But now we're waiting. And off schedule. Alright, let's see if we can do it. See right there, and I have to skip again. I I think I might just go back to do... I, I waited there too. I was not even paying attention. I was just being an idiot is what I was doing. Alright. Oh, I thought that was my... Chocobo. I was wrong. It's going to be this one right up here. Oh, and I went too fast. Yeah, that's okay. That's my fault. I knew it was... I, I, I have not gone too fast in a while, so I wasn't super concerned about it. I was just going to, like, let it roll. But... There we go. I'd rather have that anyway. But now we're in order, so everything comes out nice and smooth, because we're already in order. Now that's why Celis hasn't even really cast her spell yet, and my reels are out. So, I mean, once it's in line, you can really save yourself some time. Or, you know, give yourself a lot more of a cushion. So this is where I lost it on the last Chocobo. I, you know, kind of know where sometimes, you know, it's, it's not the same every day. But when things are working reasonably well, um, I kind of know where my feel is for these. And right now, um, I shouldn't be too fast for this. I mean, certain days that, you know, I might go too fast on that more than would be... Um, So this is the one we want right here. So he's locked that, that 7 in, and the first diamond that shows up after the 7 has been locked, that's the diamond that is right before the bar that we want to target. Um, this is really cutting it close. I could go too fast here. I'd like to be a little bit higher up on the diamond, but we should be okay. I'd have to be really fast there to clip that. Really fast. Too fast. I don't want to have to do it that fast. That's not, that's, those are not great odds. If I have to do it that fast, 
That's... See, there's that garbage there. Garbage man. Coming and dumping his garbage on me. For almost a grand damage. A lot of these fights... Like the bot... I shouldn't say a lot. There are a few of the... Like, okay, so for me, the first Ultros battle is just so... Um... Almost second nature. Like, the first time I fought it, I forgot what I was doing for a second. I had to reset. But then the second time when I... You know, I had in my mind, you know, what I was going to do there. Um... It was no problem at all. And... I would say that is one because you just have to enter the commands really really fast and there are very specific commands that you enter so I mean you just do that and you're almost guaranteed to win I mean there is some RNG where you can just get bad luck like uh, Ultros could do two consecutive attacks in a row where uh, or two yeah yeah whatever um, not two consecutive attacks in a row but two consecutive attacks um, where the first attack would be a multi-target attack with his tentacle and then his secondary attack which would go immediately after his first attack had ended and then he would single target Bannon and just smack him that's an attack that he can do um, we do our best to try and discourage him from doing that attack I mean so when you cast fire on him on Ultros in that battle he says like youch seafood soup or something like that and then his next attack he will attack Terra so that means that you can kind of dictate what he does also I don't remember if it's like a, a cumulative thing or I don't I don't remember what the trigger is but at some point in the battle he will say muscle heads hate him and he will attack Saban um, I don't know if it's if he does a certain amount of damage in the fight if he goes a certain number of rounds in the fight if he uses a certain attack so many times I don't remember what the trigger is but he will do that so that's one that is one, to my knowledge, one scripted attack that he will do. Ultros. He'll attack Saban at one point in the battle. I guess it's theoretically possible. Like, if you're strong enough, you could, like, one-shot him or something, and then maybe you wouldn't have all the dialogue then. But under reasonable circumstances, um, he will have that dialogue where he says, muscle heads hate him, or something to that effect. And then he'll attack Saban. Um... So the other thing that we can really do is cast fire on him, on Altros, with Terra, which will then piss him off and then he'll attack her. So that's why we alternate between fire and cure with her, because she's the only healer at that point, though I just have Bannon defending because, I mean, the first two rounds are okay, um, Terra's going to get beat up a little bit by uh, Ultros, so um, that's just the way it is. But so he's okay in the first couple rounds, typically. He won't get damaged. And that's why I have him heal in the first couple rounds. But then Ultros changes his attack schedule, and it, it's just... It's different. Well, we're off schedule immediately here when they knock Saban out. Boom. Welcome to the fight, Saban. I'm not going to cast haste on him. I'm going to leave him down. He still hasn't cast float yet. He's really been 
having a hard go of it down there. Alright. Let's see if we can't get everybody in line here and make a shot at it. We should have enough time. We should have more than enough time. Oh, I missed. Okay. Well, that's not... I, I, I really hate that when I do that. And this is a long one, but I'm going to go for it. Because sometimes you just got to say, hey, you know, I messed up there. I'm going to... I'm gonna make up that time with something a little bit more risky. Oh, how did I miss that? That's the thing that really, you know, I'm, that's why I switched controllers here. I was hoping that that wasn't gonna be happening. Alright, I missed mine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and not take this one. I don't want that one. I'm gonna try for this one. Oh, this one. Oh, and I missed. I overshot it. Ah, that's no good. I think I know what I did wrong, though. I think that I just felt as though... We're going to tincture up here. It's all right, though. It's not a big deal. I think we should be in line good enough anyway. Alright, well we don't have a lot of time here, so let's see if we can do this well. Ah oh man, this is tight. Too tight. There we go, that's a little bit better. This is going to be tough. There we go. Alright, let's get this. I could do this too fast, but I think we should be okay. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. I'm still confused about that, you know dumpster fire that keeps on getting flung over that guy's shoulder there at me after they're all dead. Alright, let's see here if I can remember... that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, let's try and see if we can get luck and get to center first try. And I finally figured a good idea on how to use that one little bit of MP that Edgar has here. Alright, well, now we're way off schedule, so we'll just try and focus on getting this guy killed here and hope that we don't get too much BS. Ooh, yeah, that's no good. Come on. I thought about using a tincture too, but I was like, no, nah, she's got one more left in her. Good thing I brought him back. That was pretty huge that I brought him back. 
There we go. That's fantastic. And... Let's see here. Magic. Let's, uh... Let's get you. And then... Let's get you up. And... Uh, try meat. And I think... We'll give you a tincture. And then we should just line everybody up, and I think we should be okay here. As long as we don't get... <laughs> trash. Oh no, I still need to haste him. I would like to haste Edgar before... we do... 10 hits. Um... Primarily, because... In the event that we make it past 10 hits, there is a, a real and likely, I would say likely, I mean not super incredibly highly, oh, come on dude, you know, Celis and Edgar, they're, they're standing there, they're asking you to, you know, choose them. They have green lights. The light is green, bro. You can go. That's what we're going for there. You gotta lay off the lay off the uh, the sensor there. And I thought I made save and vanished. You should have been fine. Alright, let's uh give you a tincture and let's give you you'll be alright um, and let's give you vanish and let's line you up and let's line you up and line you up and we should be good to go here maybe we'll get a shot at it Oh, I didn't haste Edgar yet. Oh well. The reason I wanted to do that was because there's a real possibility that Edgar would survive the third tier. And if that's possible, I mean, survive meaning that he wouldn't get knocked down during that fight. So he'd retain his haste, is what I'm saying. Um, there's a possibility that that could happen. And that would mean that he would start the Kefka fight on haste, which would be a pretty big deal. Ah, oh, that's too close. I mean, sometimes you got to try and cut that, but... And then this one is... Ah! I'll try one more time. Maybe I can get something more palatable than that. There, ah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, on the second reel... <laughs> On the second reel, you can easily grab the chocobo if you're at its feet. It's easier to miss the chocobo on the first reel if you're at its feet, but the second reel, you can grab the chocobo if you're at its feet. I mean, a lot easier. You could do it in the first reel too, but it's just a lot easier to to have that thing that you don't want to happen happen. It it's just the way it is. Um. Oh man, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, well, we'll use this. The only time Edgar uses magic, I think. Or, you know what? I wonder if Shote would do an instant kill on... That's, I bet he has Shote for that reason, actually, now that I think about it. That if we could do an instant kill on the machinery in the same round that she did Siren... That could be pretty awesome, actually. Okay, vanish. Slot. Muddle. Fight. We are in line. Let's try it. He's already vanished. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll just have to try and go fast.
Oh, what the hell is this now? No, no, no. Oh, man. All right. I don't think we can get it. This is going to be almost impossible. Why did it go to Celis? I skipped her once already. Oh, and I skipped it. I skipped the freaking bar, dude. Oh, I could have made it. Oh, well, it's probably for the best anyway because I want to tincture up. And maybe we can get it past 10 hits on this shot right here. That would be fantastic. And let's go ahead and... No! Ah, that's terrible. And we have to wait a whole other round. I get a whole other chance to set us all the way back. Uh, Alright, well, maybe... Uh, and then that's wasted. So we'll have to use another tincture. And he doesn't have magic. Now look at how one little tiny thing, like me using that haste on Setzer accidentally instead of on Edgar, sets us back so far. That one turn. Because he was just expected it. I just... Uh, Let's see here. We need to banish you. And set you up in order. And you're ready. You're ready. Uh, not anymore. That's alright though. Alright, uh, you're in line, you're in line, you're in line. Alright, let's try it. Well, let's wait. Alright. Alright. did a super fast double tap there. Oh no! And then I inadvertently did another double tap on the freaking reel. Which now ah, we were tinctured up pretty good. Now I think well, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to tincture up every time. It's just really nice to leave this battle tinctured up other than what you use on this one thing, which I think I can do two or three vanishes and two or three muddles. So it's like the idea is you beat this. Oh, it's long. I don't like that. Let's try. Again, same spot. Let's just try it. There we go. And this is a... I don't like this, but I'm going to try it. Ah, and I jumped it long! I, I, don't, I didn't have to do that. I had plenty of time. Why didn't I just take my time, dude? Because I'm tired. That's why. This is going to be my last one. I had plenty of time. What was I doing? Dude, you gotta, like, pay attention, bro.
Yeah. There we go. That was a good double tap. Oh, and I missed it. How do I miss it? How do I miss it? I don't think I'd done that all night. Missed the first reel maybe one time. Ah, oh, that's too close. I have time. That's too close again. Dude, three times in a row, same freaking spot in the diamond. Give me a break with that. All right, this is better. All right, if we get past 10 hits, we're at tier three, and Saber's not vanished, so we have half the odds that we normally would. <laughs> ah, there we go, fantastic. Now let's watch and find out. Okay, now I don't feel so bad. Um, I don't know. I guess I can try one more. I'm just getting tired. I'm just getting tired. I'm trying to think is there a spot where using an Esper would be something that I could use, like Shoat. If I use Shoat, that could maybe kill. But I wouldn't I wouldn't know if it hit. Yeah, that's no good. You know, we haven't run into a battle one time after I landed on the ground there. That's going to happen one time. We're going to run into, like, GT Behemoth or some dumpster fire like that. Dual GT Behemoths. <laughs> they're actually, if you're of a decent level, they're actually not very strong. But I mean, they're, they're I think they use Meteor. Or Meteor? Meteor. Yeah, it's Meteor. That's actually one of the coolest looking spells in the whole game. That is a really kick-ass looking spell. It, it's really nice. I like that one. And Ultima, which, you know, you would think, yeah, it does. It's Ultima. What are you thinking? But you know what? Honestly, the Ultima from this Super Nintendo version of this game might be the best Ultima of all the Ultima spells. Like, it's just such a good spell in this game, and the animation looks awesome. Um, in other games, like Final Fantasy VII, I don't remember Ultima being very, like, I mean, it was kind of a disappointment, honestly. Um, I don't ever remember using it for anything. Ever. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I've used it, but I don't remember a situation where I was like, oh, yeah, this is the attack. I'm, I'm going to focus on using this one because it's the best thing I can do. I don't remember that being the case in Final Fantasy X. Um, there's a lot of ways to look at that game. Um, probably the first, well, I don't remember the, the first, first, first game that I played 20 years ago, 25 years ago, whatever it was. Uh, I can't tell you exactly how that experience went because I don't remember... I mean, I remember snapshots and bits and pieces, but just fragments of the game. It was like playing, playing the game all over, for the most part. Um, my... I did, though, I did remember that the Holy Spell uh, had the potential to be pretty awesome. I remembered that much of the game. Um, so... What I have done with that game, and I've played it through a few times now. I don't know how many. Enough where I don't, where I don't, where I have lost count. It's not as though I was keeping track, but too many for me to remember. Uh, I mean, not. I shouldn't say it that way. I just didn't keep track. I don't know how many times I played through. If I sat down and thought a lot and really, really hard about it, I could probably narrow it down to like 
you know, within the ballpark of three or four uh, playthroughs. But so I mean, it's, I haven't, I haven't played through dozens of times. I may not have even played through a dozen times. It's probably less than a dozen times. Uh, but um, I kind of made my goal for what I was doing there. Well, I had my goal, and then I've refined it as I played through. So, that game, um, until just, like, because I, I bought the, I should preface it with, I should, I should be a little bit more, um, I should back up here a little bit. So, I played the game through a few times on the PlayStation, and then I played the game a few times on the remastered version on Xbox One. And um, the remastered version on Xbox One was the only time that I ever... Oh, well, I'm not quite done with it, but I'm all but finished with the Monster Arena. There's a, I think there's a, uh, there's probably a couple monsters I haven't beaten there yet. And I'm doing the Dark Aeon, so the way I see it, I really hadn't done a whole lot as it pertained to the post-game content in that game until I bought it for Xbox. Um, let's see here now. You're lined up. Wait, did I ha I don't- did I ha yeah, I did, okay. So she's hasted. Oh, we have to float. Um... But, okay, so, right, alright, back on track with my story here. Um... There's the- so, with that in mind, that I had never really spent a whole lot of time in the post-game content, and all my playthroughs had just basically been the story. Um... What I started doing was uh, basically making, and you know, people are gonna think I'm an idiot here, but uh, Lulu, man, Lulu is a freaking monster in the storyline. I mean, she's just so much better than anybody else, and it's not even close. Um, except for maybe, I mean, no, even Riku's not in, not in the storyline until very late in the storyline. Um, if you take Lulu and move her... Uh, so basically, you take her up into... Uh, it's not very far, it's like one level, one block or something that you have to unlock. Um, And you take her up into Kamari's area and learn, um, oh, I don't even remember what it's called now. Lancet, it's called. Uh, and what Lancet does is it absorbs magic points and hit points. And it's just an uh, attack. You don't need magic to use it. It's just a, it's a, just like a ability that you learn. Well, having that kind of makes your mage in that game pretty awesome because uh, magic is... It's, oh man, come on, man. Magic is one of those things that, um, it can, it can be a difficult thing to replenish in that game at different points in the game. So if you can just absorb magic from your enemies, I mean, that makes your mage pretty outstanding. And so what I do is I put, after I learn that ability, I put Lulu on the Riku path, so I take her out, it takes one level 2 lock that you get, I don't remember where you get it, but you get it pretty early in the game. If you're making a beeline towards that, you go up and get the uh, Lancet, and then you make a beeline for that level 2 lock, you'll get there right about the time that you get the lock, okay? Um, and then from there, alright, I don't have the most time here, but let's see if we can do this. So, if you get the, um,
Okay. Not getting ripped off. Good. Uh, so you'll get to that level 2 lock right about the same time that you earn the key for it. And then that lets you into Riku's area. So you can learn all sorts of cool stuff like steel and uh, I don't remember what all. You can use items like she can. I mean, you can't mix them. I don't think. No, no, mix is her limit break. But you can use items like all bed potions and stuff like Stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to use. Um, and then, on the other side of that, she comes out into Late White Mage. So, she learns Cure 3, basically, whatever it's called, Curaga, or whatever it is. Uh, Cure 3, okay? So, now you got this super fast black mage. Well, she's a, she is a black mage, but she hasn't learned really much in the way of attack magic yet. Um, but that's totally fine, and it's not a big deal at all. Um, so what's going to happen is, uh, wait, we need to get Doom on this thing now. Um, there we go. Life's a little bit better now. I think I'm going to take her up here real quick. And I'm going to use that one magic spell that Edgar has in his back pocket that he has and that has no use for except for that right there. It's the only use he has for it. The whole battle. Unless I use a... Uh, I think we're ready to go. Unless we use a... No. No. No! What the? Son of a bitch! Edgar wasn't ready to go yet. Because he cast that stupid vanish. So now I wasted that tincture up. Man, that pisses me off. Just a little tiny mental error like that and everything's just shot. I had picked up a good chunk of momentum there. And then... Well, I still lose that round of spells. Which, you know, you don't really know how it's going to play out. Oh, I missed that. I sh that was perfect. Uh, this is really tight. I don't like that. I, I can get better than that. Again with the same spot. And I'm going to have to take... Uh, there we go. Alright, well if I get past 10 hits, we're at the third tier. Ah, oh, seven got me. That's too bad. Well, these runs have been far more productive. Uh, I am using that cleaned out controller after I had a little bit of practice at what I'd been doing. Um, And so, I, like I said before, I didn't give this controller a fair chance. And it was probably user error more than anything that was causing me to not hit my reels the first time I used it. Because I had not really been doing very much. And it was Joker Doom, right? So, I mean, I hadn't used this on Reverse Joker Doom. It was just Joker Doom. So, I, I, I just think I was... I hadn't... I was so rusty that... Uh, I don't know. Let's let's hope that that's all it is, because this controller has been pretty responsive. I missed a couple times, but most of it was stuff that I knew maybe I would miss. You know, there was a chance I could miss. There was only one or two spots where I felt like I kind of got robbed. Ah, uh, but nothing that you know. I mean, there's two things, man. You can get ripped off, 
at the end of tier one, which is a really low probability. On paper, it's a low probability. Um, I can't believe he hasn't used Merton yet. Give me a break. Like, this could have been my round. He hasn't used Merton yet. We'd already be at Kefka by now. What a ripoff. Well, um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be done here. Um, well, two things I guess I wanted to finish saying. Um, I don't know. Ten hits is tough. But we were consistently doing our part to make it work. We were hitting our reels. That's the thing. That's all you got to do is just hit your reels. If you're hitting your reels, that's not your fault. And you're just fighting with the RNG. And I do believe that if all of the tumblers line up in just the pot right possible uh, combination, you could get through completely on schedule all the way through without a single uh, sidestep but the odds of that are probably somewhere in the same odds of winning a lottery to get that completely on schedule there's just so many <laughs> roll on top of a 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 roll it's it's incredible if you really look at it and how you know what the odds really would be um, Anyway, there's that, and uh, so you get Lulu into late white mage. She learns Cure 2, she learns Regan, uh, and then she learns Holy, like pretty quickly into that. I mean, it takes a little while. It's not like immediately, but if you're going quickly through the story, you're going to get Cure 2 right when you lose Yuna at the... Uh, when you hit that that frozen lake or whatever, and you you lose Yuna for a while, if you're if you're uh, making sure that you have Lulu in the party and focusing on her, always getting experience, and nobody else matters as much, and you really focus on Lulu, uh, you'll get that cure three right there, which is massive, and she'll be doing damage cap with Holy in the calm lands. She's that good. And so really, uh, all you gotta do is get a drop from a boss that gives you uh, half MP cost. Or I guess you could make it like later in the game, but it's not that difficult to get that drop, which means she's casting Holy for 40, I think, at that point. And... So she's doing damage cap. Well, it's not damage cap in that game anymore, but she's doing 9 9 9 9 damage every turn uh, with Holy. And she's fast. She's super fast. And she dodges almost everybody's attack. She's outstanding. Um, she kind of reminds me on in some way of like a super maxed out Valsu from 7th Saga. Um, I can talk about that another time, but uh, like a solo run with Valsu in 7th Saga. Dude, he's so freaking awesome. Anyway, that's for another day. <laughs>